In this example here, we will be notching the top of the stair stringer to fit over a beam. And you could do the same thing. It could notch over a wall. Our uh, measurement at the top is going to be eight and a half inches. Yours could be different. So remember these uh, examples in the book are meant to uh, provide you with examples. They're not actually going to be the same all the time as uh, you're not going to be able to use the same example in the book um, to fit every need, in other words. Draw the line after you line everything up. The next step will be to mark the height of the landing joist, landing floor, platform, whatever you are going to be tying into. And this is five and a half inches on in our example. Next up, we are going to mark the width of the notch. And in this case, it's going to be two inches. Again, yours could vary, could change. Don't forget that the other side of the framing square is two inches. You can always use that to line it up with the mark you just made. And, uh, and again, make sure everything is perfect. If you're off just a little bit, it can create problems for your stairway or even the uh, stair building process. So there's our two inch wide mark. The next step will be to mark. We already made the mark, remember, for our joist so this is five and a half inches you can always use the framing square again line it up uh, five and a half inches i don't like to measure everything with a framing square because sometimes framing squares aren't marked correctly um, i'm not and then uh, don't forget to scratch out everything that uh, you're not going to be cutting just in case uh, you follow through I, this is a great habit to get into it really is so there you are double checking everything to make sure that it is right. And uh, that is it for this example.